Hi everyone, welcome back to MovieJube. I am back with another western, but this time we're taking it back to the 1950s, 1952 I believe, with High Noon. I am so excited to watch such an older uh, western film. This will be my first time experiencing uh, western in the 50s and I'm very much looking forward to this and I hope you are as well. I've been loving and enjoying a lot of the 60s and 70s westerns that I've been watching alongside you all. So now we're taking it back to the 50s and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Please be sure to leave a like, please subscribe, that would mean a lot and uh, yeah, as always if you'd like to see my full uncut reaction that will of course be available on Patreon, linked in the description and uh, yeah, and the pinned comment. So otherwise let's just get into it i don't know what to expect but i'm excited high noon awesome it's a beautiful intro song doggy they get dirty looks oh he's running <laughs> As the cowboys come to town. Did you see what I saw? We're gonna have a big day today. Oh, you in a hurry? Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> Gentlemen, let us begin. Bride and groom, kindly step oh, forward. The wedding day. Will Kane and Amy Fowler to be joined together in the bonds of holy matrimony. Man, it sure is hot. You call this hot? Thought I saw Ben Miller. Looked like Pearson Colby, too. Oh, it couldn't be, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hadleyville. My goodness gracious. God, I love that transatlantic uh, accent. My goodness gracious. Colby? <laughs> God, his eyes, even in black and white. Stunning. Until death do you part. I do. A ring, please. See, that transatlantic accent. I do. It feels so classic Disney to me. I grew up on all the Disney princess films. What? <laughs> what about the kiss? Okay, there we go. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I mean, I guess that was a kiss. It was more like a headbutt. <laughs> I'll be alone when I get married. I'm gonna try, Amy. I'll do my best. I will too. Oh, finally, time for a proper kiss. There we go. <laughs> Whatever, dude. And I hate to do this without your new marshal being here. Oh. All right, it's coming off. But I got to be paid first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. There we go. No longer the marshal. Ben Miller and Dalton Depot now with Jim Pierce and Jack Colby. Uh oh. You get out of this town. Hey, are you crazy? Think of Amy. Yeah. That's funny. Kane and his new wife just took off in a big hurry. I mean a big hurry. I mean a big hurry. He has two of the old bunch with him. I guess I'll take a look around. Be careful. God, her waist is snatched. Us wide ribcage girlies could never. <laughs> I'd be uninvited from the 1950s. It's no good. I've got to go back, Amy. You can't. They're making me run. I've never run from anybody before. Aww. It's not going to go well. If you just tell me what this is all about. I sent a man up five years ago for murder. He was supposed to hang. But they've pardoned him. Well, he was always wild, kind of crazy. Seems to me I've got to stay. You know there'll be trouble. <laughs> then it's better to have it here. I do get that. Better here than like by yourself at a prairie with no other backup, no other guns. We were married just a few minutes ago. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Stay at the hotel until it's over. I say it's too long to wait. I won't do it. I'll be on that train when it leaves. Oh my god, damn. I've got to stay. Do I figure I had to stay? Yeah, my intuition tells me otherwise. You're a judge. I hope to live to be a judge again. Wow. Oh, my God. Here you are, ma'am. I'm awfully sorry about all this, Mrs. Kane. The marshal will take care of himself, all right. Hey, that wasn't here five years ago. Goodbye, Will. Goodbye. I think I'm letting you down, don't you? No. Dirty little village in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I think it happens here is really important. Now get out. Damn. <laughs> what a waste. Damn. He, uh, he's running away. Uh, this ain't really a job, you know. What everybody keeps telling me. Oh, no. Well, this is the way I see it. I'd be in charge around here, right? Right. How come the city fathers didn't trust me with a permit? Oh, he's mad. Maybe they figured you were too young. Sure act like it sometimes. <laughs> come on. That is strange that they'd rather wait till tomorrow to get a new 
marshal rather than make the deputy the marshal. You don't know, it's no use me telling you. The truth is you probably talked against me from the start. You and Ellen Ramirez? It so happens I didn't know, and it doesn't mean anything to me one way. Oh, he didn't know. You can't stand anybody taking your place there, can you? Especially me. I haven't got time, Marv. I thought your disposition might have sweetened up a little down in Abilene. Abilene. <laughs> What's so funny? When are you going to grow up? I'm getting tired of that kind of talk. Then grow up? Then grow up? <laughs> she's like a, a cartoon. Oh my God, she's so magical. He needs me. You told him? You're a right fool. Didn't you want him to know? Who did the walking out anyway? You were him. Oh, she was with him. Get out, Harvey. You're going to talk different when Frank Miller gets here. May I wait in the lobby until noon? You're Mrs. Kane, ain't you? Leaving on the noon train? No, why? No reason, but it's mighty interesting. It's mighty interesting. Okay, Gossip Queen. So it's going to be quite a sight to see. A bop. Okay. You can count on me. You know that, don't you? Oh. How many men you got lined up? <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> None yet. Well, you better get going, man. Lord is prepared. You're a brave soul. Come in, Mr. Weaver. Hello, Mrs. Ramirez. Hello. Sit down, please. So, who is Mr. Weaver? I want to sell this store. You want to buy me out? Ah, uh, an investor. Two thousand. I couldn't raise that much right now. You can pay some the rest in six months. A deal? Damn. Thank you. And I want you to know that I've been honest with you. I know you have, Mr. Weaver. Goodbye. Well, good luck to you. No. Oh. Helen's an awesome woman. She's really cool. Amy, you've changed your mind. No. I thought you'd changed yours. Damn. I have my ticket. Is Helen Ramirez in? I think you can find it all right. <laughs> wow. Okay, call, call him out in front of his wife. That he knows exactly where she stays. <clears throat> Are you looking at? She's like a doll. She's so beautiful. You want me to help you? Well, I would not do it. You know how he is. He's probably got letters. Nothing in life is free. That's good. See, si, Lucy. Damn, the chemistry, the sparks are flying. You will get out too. I can't. So tense. Do you want to see Helen as well? Sure, Mrs. Ramirez. She used to be a friend of your husband's a while back. Ooh. Before that, she was a friend of Frank Miller. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you don't like my husband, do you? <laughs> There's plenty of people around here think he's got a comeuppance coming. Damn. I was playing the harmonica. You know, I think I'll go with some liquor. Keep away from Kane. Sure, I can wait. Damn. Hello, Harv. I, uh, turned in a quiz. Come on, move. <laughs> I didn't ask you for your opinion. <laughs> They're happy to see him? I thought they'd all be scared. Okay. Yeah. Time in the old town tonight, eh, Ben? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, dear. Is he gonna head to the saloon as well? Uh-oh. I'll give you odds. Kane's dead five minutes after Frank gets off the train. <gasps> oh dear. Knock the spit out of him. <laughs> you carry a badge and a gun, Marshal. You ain't no call to do that. I guess you all know why I'm here. I'll take all I can get. Clearly no one wants to be on his side. Wow, I didn't think this many people were, were against him. Frank's got friends in this room. You ought to know that. Yeah. Some of you were special deputies when we broke this bunch. You had six steady deputies to start off with. That's between the two of us. That's why I'm here. How about it? I don't think that's convinced anyone. <laughs> what about all your friends that were at your wedding, huh? What you gonna do? Now you do like I told you, I'm not home. Don't let it. <sighs> oh boy. He's your friend. Don't argue with me. He'll be here in a second. They were just at his wedding. Do like I tell you. They were just at his wedding. Oh my god. Damn. He had no real friends, huh? Move as far as Sam in. He's in church, Will. He's gone to church. Without you? <laughs> Sus. 
Goodbye. Oh, I feel really bad for Kane. All of his so-called friends just... Uh, yeah. I mean, they did want him to leave, but... I want to be with you when that train comes in. Sure I can. I, I used to be good. It's a chance. See, it's what I need. Please, Kane. Interesting. So were you hurt by... Get yourself a drink meanwhile, huh? Aww. So was he hurt by Frank? And that's why he's got the eye patch? I don't know you. It doesn't make much sense. No. Sure you are. You wouldn't be running. I'm not a scared of Miller. I'll take him on any time. And why are you going? You're a good looking boy. You have big broad shoulders. <laughs> big broad shoulders. It take more than big broad shoulders to make a man, Harvey. Damn. Kane will be a dead man in half an hour. And nobody's going to do anything about it. Yeah. I am all alone in the world, so I'm going someplace else. Fair enough. And I don't like you too. Hell yeah. Anymore. Ah, oh, I love Helen. Oh, she's so cool. I wish I could be her. <laughs> Our text today is from Malachi. The day cometh that you'll burn as an oven. I'm sorry, Parson. I don't want to disturb the services. You don't come to this church very often, Marshal. And when you got married today, you didn't see fit to be married here. Ooh. <laughs> Called him out. And I didn't get married here today because, because my wife's a Quaker. Is that not a question? A type of a dom denomination? I have no idea. Say what you have to say. Maybe some of you already know it. It looks like Frank Miller's coming back on the noon train. Special deputies I can get. What are we waiting for? Something that ain't going to be so pleasant. Ain't it true that Kane ain't no longer Marshal? Why should we? Uh oh. There's a difference of opinion. Let everybody have a say. And let's get all the kids out of the building. <laughs> be gone, children. They're like, we're free from church. <laughs> Let's go play. <laughs> That's so funny. Not long now. We all know who Miller is and what Miller is. We all know who Miller is. I say this is their mess. Let them take care of it. You're right. I say we're not peace officers. This ain't our job. If we did, we wouldn't be facing this thing. Probably. Possibly. You had your hand up, Ezra. Who's was the best marshal this town ever had. Mm. This whole thing's been handled wrong. Why didn't you put him in jail where they ought to be? There's no law against him sitting on a bench at the depot. What's the matter with you people? How can you sit here and talk and talk and talk like this? We know Miller's on that train anyway. Uh, he most definitely is. <laughs> you got anything to say? But we hire men to go out and do it for us. <laughs> but if you're asking me to tell my people to go out and kill... All right. Maybe the best marshal we'll ever have. We made it with our own hands, out of nothing. No matter how hard it is. All right. There's going to be fighting. Yikes. People up north are thinking about this town. It'll mean a lot to this town. What are they going to think then? Ooh. In one day. You all know how I feel about this man. And for his sake and the sake of this town, my hunch is there won't be any trouble. Not one bit. Really? Well, to me, that makes sense. To me, that's the only way out of this. Huh. I think you better go while there's still time. Wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> the kids are so cute. I feel so bad for Kane. He is so alone in this. I mean, he may as well be on a prairie by himself with his wife, you know? Why don't you put that thing away? Wow. Wow, that's really messed up, children. <laughs> children are really messed up. They'll say, like, the most hurtful things to your face. <laughs> I was on FaceTime with my niece and she was like, ha, you look like an egg. And I was like, me? Looking like an egg? Really? <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> but it's like not wrong, so. <laughs> I wanted to be like you, Mark. Damn. If you're honest, you're poor your whole life. For what? For nothing. For a tin star. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be a marshal. It figures. It's all happened too sudden before they do anything about it. They just don't care. Yeah, genuinely. To get a human to to rally enough care to do something, it takes time. Because otherwise, they just don't care. You know why I came back. Sometimes prison changes a man. This is all planned. That's why they're all here. Get out. If it was too late back then, it's far too late now. Will you come down to that depot with me? But I ain't going with you. No, I couldn't do nothing for you. It's too one-sided like it is. So long, Mark. It's all for nothing, Will. Excuse me, what is Mrs. Remier's room number? Oh, T. He's loving the gossip. He's like, oh, three. 
And he says he's going to stop whistling once she's in and listen out. Come in, Mrs. Ramirez. I'm Mrs. King. May I come in? No, thank you. Oh. It wasn't easy for me to come here. Will and I were married an hour ago. Thing happened and he wouldn't go. I, I just couldn't reach him. He said things about you and Will. Ooh. Let him go. Just let him go. I, I don't think she's holding him. She's been here this whole time. I have spoken to him for a year. There you go. Then what is it? Why is he staying? I cannot explain it to you. Exactly. He feels a duty. How can you leave him like that? <sighs> Helen's a baddie. My father and my brother were killed by... They were on the right side, but that didn't help them any when the shooting started. That's when I became a Quaker. I'm sorry, Amy. Are you going to wait for the train now? Why don't you wait here? They're both awesome women. Strong but forgiving. Ugh. Only takes a smart man to know when to back away. Here I ain't coming in here anymore. Okay. The boy with the tin star. Drink your sorrows. Pretty horsies. Put a saddle on him, Kane. Go on, saddle him up. You go a long way before he tires. I guess so. Stands to reason. Yeah, it's only fair enough. When you have no one else by your side. Brother wants us to get me out of town. Yeah, it does. Hold it, where are you going? I don't know, back to the office, I guess. You ready to do it yourself? You said so. I thought about it because I was tired, but I can't do it. I don't know. Get on that horse, Will. He won't do it. Care if I live or die? Don't shove me, Harv. Oh! Not what I was expecting. God. I was not anticipating that kind of a fight. Oh. I hate this. I always hated it. I understand. I don't understand you. If King was my man, I'd get a gun. He is not my man. You got some clean water I can use? Sure, sure. Sit down. I feel so bad for him. Run into some kind of trouble, Marshal? Oh, just fixing things up out back. Hey, hold it a while, will you? You can tell your man he can go back to work. Uh, yeah, on the coffins. <laughs> I'm sure glad you're here. Time's getting pretty short. Yeah. We gotta make plans. <laughs> No other boys. No, I I don't believe it. I couldn't get anybody. You can ask around. You and me against Miller and all the rest of them. Do you want out, Herb? It isn't that I want out, no. Figure on anything like this, Will. Neither did I. Yeah. Sure, I, I, I'm ready now. Oh, what? Why me? I'm no law man. Oh. I got no stake in this. I guess not. What about my kids? I mean, I just, yeah, I, I understand you not wanting to risk your life with just two of you against four, but... Yeah. Go on home, Herb. I don't blame you, Herb, but it's really scary. But yeah, jeez, just you guys. And now just him. Oh, I want to cry for him. Marshall, listen, let me fight with you. I ain't afraid. No, you're too young. Please let me, Marshall. And I can handle a gun, too. You ought to see me. I'm big for my age. I'm big for my age. No, go on. Get out of here. Oh, Marshall. This ain't good. This ain't good. Ooh. Damn, it's tense. You can go home now. Hmm? Thanks, Marshal. Sure appreciate it. Certainly do. You have a good day now. I said go home, Charlie. Yes, sir. So long, Helen. Take care. So you're gonna watch Helen and Amy right away together? Yep. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> He's just been trying to do the right thing. Hello, Frank. Everything ready? Sure, just the way you want it, Frank. Let's get started, then. Wow. She let him see that she was leaving. Poor 
will. He deserved better friends and support and... Just want to be ready. Mm. What do you need a bonnet for? <laughs> I'm glad she came back, but I can't see him surviving this. Good dive. Careful. We got him! Two down, two to go. Light a whole barn on fire? Just to get him? Oh dear. <gasps> Thank you for saving the horses. He's such a good person. <laughs> Good job, good job. Uh. Come on, Amy, do something to help. Anything, a distraction, even if you just shot and not killed someone, but just try to distract them with the gunshot. Come on. Yes, Amy! That a girl, Mrs. Kane! Far out. Alright, Kane, come on out. Friend here, get it the way Pierce did. I'll come out as you walk through that door. Come on, I'll hold my fire. <gasps> oh, he got him. You saved your husband. You did the right thing. <laughs> she was braver than all the other residents here. And she got that courage from, um, from Helen, who told her. None of you guys deserved him as a marshal. Wow. The end. Oh, I'm so glad she, she fought for her husband in the end. Wow. Alrighty, everyone, that was high noon. I don't know why I've got a bit emotional, <laughs> but I think, wow, that was really tense and stressed me out so brilliantly. I think I did such a great job um, with this film. It was very tense. It was genuine. It was heartfelt. It was this guy just trying to do the right thing when no one else would do that for him in return except thankfully the woman he loved and I'm glad they didn't try and make it like Helen and him were in some kind of love triangle she was like we haven't spoken that way in a year you know I don't he's not my man I don't have that with him but you do fight for him and she took her advice she was so scared and so reluctant and especially with her experience with her dad and her brother that she was prepared to run away but she she that was so incredibly brave that she came back to fight for her husband and risked her own life. She she knew by taking that gunshot she was probably going to die and, and, and maybe even 
worse for her going against her religion and then potentially dying and going you know like to hell or I, I'm not too sure exactly what they believe in so pardon if I'm misunderstanding but that's brave as hell and he was so brave Will was so brave to go against every everyone saying hey just escape run away and I guess he was kind of right Frank probably would have followed him wherever he went and he would have been you know in the one place all alone with his wife and on a prairie where they're easy pickings you know there's nowhere else to hide so at least that shootout it was slightly safer to do in in the town than by himself in his home but yeah I'm really glad that they they stuck t she stuck around for for him and did the right thing by her husband in the end I think that's really special and um wow I didn't expect it to be that badass and tense and fun and enthralling for such a you know I don't know like a an early version of a western this is 1952 late 40s to early 50s that's yeah very fresh very new but um I think that's really 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 cool really well done I loved that way more than I thought I would so I hope you all enjoyed as well and please let me know what you'd like to see me watch next um, I don't know if you'd like to see some more olden films as well or some more current recent ones but you let me know in the comments down below either way I thoroughly enjoyed that and no black and white films do not deter me I'm completely happy and content with them I've watched a few 1930s films uh, that I really enjoy mostly for like the dancing and, and stuff such as uh, um, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers but yeah anyways I'm just babbling <laughs> I really really enjoyed so I hope you did too please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video alrighty bye